G'day and welcome to the Mac Pack. We're, We're back. back. My name's Jamie Kenner and to my left this week in order the man on the panel. Most likely to be seen walking. It's my little brother Joe. How are you, Joe boy? Yes, walking was my passion, but is it still? Let's find out. And to my right, coming in at 6 foot 1, as he does each and every week, it's the baby brother of the pack. Who we call Junior Boy? Junior Boy, how are you? My new passion is waking up every morning, being a peeping Tom, making sure Joey Boy isn't or is doing his morning walk. There you go. We are doing a bit of a morning walk update Ooh. off the top this week after we shared a couple of DMs on December 1. Plus this week, we're chatting about some uh, Mackie D's soft serves. We're also giving you a bit of a, a, wa- a step down memory lane as we reminisce about primary school now that the year is just about finished. School's out time. screaming. Riley's tidying up some loose ends regarding his parking fines from earlier this year. We're tying it up. And we've also got an everyday hero who is also the number one draft pick. It's a massive episode. Let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys! Flamingos. How are we all? Are we all well? Good to be here. Fantastic, fantastic. Just living my life. No, no worries about the threat of being called out constantly. <laughs> <laughs> we did, off the top, we mentioned that in episode 155... Jake tries Dr. Pepper and Joe becomes quite the stepper. Oh, that was a classic. We uh, we flagged that you had a new hobby at the time. What was your hobby? It was walking, a morning walk. And you would you'd start doing it pretty frequently every morning. Yeah. The most, the most frequently you can do it. And every morning. We asked the people, the pack, the members of our community, the pack of that makes the Mac pack possible. Yeah. Flag us a DM on December 1 just to check in with us to make sure that Joey is in fact still walking. We have a tendency on the pod to basically come up with all sorts of fun, fandangled ideas at the time and never remember to do any of them ever again. Um, but December 1... Is about to roll around. Oh, no. Well, it rolled around. Oh, it's rolled. It finna be rolled. It rolled on the episode, <laughs> the last episode that got released. Oh, my God. Yes, December, it was 1. December 1. And did we... Because I completely forgot. Yeah, well, really? the pack did not forget. Oh, and pack. at the time we mentioned Geordie Smith was going to be yes. our man in charge. If you could get in before Geord, he was the man to beat. If you could get in before <laughs> Geord, you'd win yourself a mug. And unfortunately, no one got in before Geord. Geord yeah, <laughs> was very quick. Did Jord, he message on Friday? Geordie was so quick that he actually messaged. He set a calendar alert on 8th of September. Yep. And the calendar alert said, message MacPack podcast and grill Sleepy Joe, yep. <laughs> which we love. Um, and he did exactly that. So Geordie messaged us, just trying to find exactly when he did it. Didn't he jump the gun a bit? I can't did find he go it. Oh, oh, yeah, it's 5.20 in the morning. Is, Joe, is Sleepy Joe still on his health kick and walking every day? Jeez. Waiting on my prize. And I don't think we said that we were going to give Geordie a prize. I think we just <laughs> said <laughs> we would give him. anyone that beat Geordie a prize. Yep, that's correct. But Geordie's a big fan of the pod. Should we give him a prize? We'll give him the mug. We'll give him the mug. It's Geordie, a Merry Christmas from the pack. Geordie, you're getting a mug, mate. Um, congratulations. Thanks for being such a massive fan. Thanks. For, he's sort of the pack leader. If we were ever absent, I think he'd be walking around <laughs> as, the, as the pack leader. Um, <laughs> and in good hands, would leave it. Arguably our... He'd be up there, one of our biggest fans. He's been involved with the show a fair bit. And just as a little bit of a bit of a preamble. Pun- yeah, he's definitely going to be involved later on in this episode because <laughs> we've got some DMs from Jord about a few other topics. He's bringing some quality to the, the pack. Hey, man. We absolutely love it. So thank you, Jordy, and thank you too. There was another couple of people who got involved. I'm not going to be able to find them. Um, I can find one. It was Anthony. Anton. An- Anthony Filler. It was, yeah, our, yeah. was our man who also got involved. There was a heap of others, but I can't find them. But if you also messaged us. Congrats. Thank ma- you. Yeah, yeah, massive yeah. thank but you for keeping Joey honest. Out. You've just missed out on Geordie. The question remains, is Joey still, still walking? Doing? And that is the answer that we would like to find out. Joe, are you still walking? Well... No, 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 no. We no, all know no, that no, I had no, my injury. Yes or no, last. buddy. No, we just want an answer, mate. Yeah. Uh, we all know I had my injury last week. So I did have a little bit of a break from my walking. Right. And <laughs> obviously with the heat and stuff, I've actually cut down. I was doing half an hour in the morning, but now I do it for a brisk 10 minute around the block. A brisk 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, just around the block. Every morning. Uh, Take every longer to put your shoes on. That's cat. Yeah. No, every morning when I wake up, when d- here, I do. Oh. Ask mom and dad. They're actually when you wake up here. 10 minutes doesn't yeah. seem like... So you don't wake well, up here that often. You're no, most streets. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but ten, 10 minutes doesn't seem like very far. 
Yeah, no. No, it's alright. It's an, it's a brisk walk. It wakes you up. Helps wake you up. It's sounding. That was not sounding the science. Like a substitute. If you run it back to one five five, there was not like oh you just got to get up and get out of the house. It was you got to walk for thirty minutes. You do a specific route. Yep. That will get you that thirty minute walk. You seem to have. You're getting a bit lax on the walking. It's summer. I got my studies to do. You know, I got a, I got a busy life. That's interesting. I wonder if Huberman. Let's go a year from now. I wonder if Huberman. <laughs> 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 I wonder if, if Huberman was aware of this, what he would be thinking. Yes, you know. But is anyone who wants to get into walking, I'd highly recommend it's, it. It's I'd a highly pass mark. recommend it. But obviously, the health kick was a big part of it. But there's one thing that you got to avoid on the health kick. Yep. And that's those cheeky Macca soft serves. Yeah, no, that's that's also what I wanted to discuss. The soft serves have become an icon, right? I've always been a, an icon part of the Mac Pack community. We love them here on the panel. We oh, love a soft serve. We've been them. A vanilla soft serve is elite as well. We tried the chocolates mm-hmm. when they got released late last year. They were good. Not as good. But not great, and they melted very quickly. It was a very hot day. Yeah, we should probably was, try yeah. them on a colder day. But they have just um, rolled them out. Yes. Nationwide. When we tried them? Oh, they were only a WA thing. Oh, but we, no, you can only get them at certain stores as oh, well. Now, I, you can, I, I believe you can get them absolutely everywhere you want. My question to you guys, as we launch into summer, the Monopoly series is finished. The only question I really want to ask you is how much would you pay, quick game of cost is correct, for a soft serve at McDonald's? How much would I pay? I remember the good old days when they were 25 cents. Yeah. And anything higher than that gripes me. How much would I pay? I reckon I wouldn't pay if it was a dollar. I don't think I would get one. But if it was above 75, I'd be like annoyed. Okay. But you'd still get one. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I mean, it's n- not a lot and it's pretty damn good ice cream. <laughs> it is. But a dollar is just kind of like the principle of it. Well, the issue that I'm having at the moment, and I realized this the other week, Riley and I, we went and got some Mackie D's from up the road, the Livingston. Yes, I can't. Variety who has been shouted out many, many a time. Shout out to Reef. I wonder what Reef's up to. Shout out Reef. And what guy. was that Darl's name? Margaret? Molly? The oh, Everyday Hero? The Everyday Hero. Mm. Early season one. She was a superstar. <laughs> um, it was Darl, was it? No, that wasn't her name. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I just called her. I can't remember her name. We did get it. Um, how much did you say? Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> That's it. It was Wendy. Um, how 20, 25. Was the maximum you would pay for an ice cream at McDonald's? <laughs> That's how much it should be. Okay. What did you say? 75, 75 cents you're happy to pay. Um, they used to be 80 cents. Quite recently, they were 80 cents, which I thought was quite That's high. A lot. Yeah. And you could then pay, I think, a dollar and you would get it with yeah. a 12. Which or the flake. The flake. Not a 12. A flake. Yeah, so basically they want everyone to get the flake. And previously you used to be able to pay 50 cents to get a thing and then 50 cents to get a flake. Which, which is seems <laughs> That's a big upsell. That's a yeah. Normally an upsell is like much less and you get quite a lot more. Mm-hmm. How about you double it and we'll give you a flake? <laughs> <laughs> Just doesn't seem <laughs> right. Double it and give it to the next flake. <laughs> so, so the 80 cents to a dollar, that's, that's a proper upsell. Happy to do that. Yeah. Even though you're still paying... A dollar for the same thing. They increased their prices this week. To a dollar fifteen for a soft serve. Oh. It's now a dollar fifteen, which is a fucking what the hell? Firstly, it's an awkward price so to that's be paying. More expensive than a frozen coke, or is that gone up as well? That I can't confirm. Frozen cokes are two bucks. Yeah, now. I think frozen cokes are more Jeez. expensive, and I think Robbery. you have to get smalls. Are they? Are they not one dollar, two dollar, three dollar? I think they really? are. I think they are. It's a no, mess. It's absolute. It's an absolute the, mess. What is the government doing? And this is this is. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is the cost of living, right? I don't know. I'm this not is, happy. This is the soft serves can't. They need to be non-canonical to the cost of living. They need to be their own thing. They need to be their own thing. They That's do robbery. Another part of this rollout hasn't angered many many people. It's excited a lot of people. The McRib is back. Have you ever had a McRib? No. Heard of? Yeah, that's it the McRib. Great. It looks like a slider. Ooh. It's like a, a it's like a it's like a shit subway. Yeah. They also put onion rings on the menu. And they've put a chicken burger, a double chicken patty burger, which, you know, like good on them and all. But I think we would be much happier if you took all of those items off and Is replaced this the them. Change? And replaced them. No, they're just normal menus, menu items. And just <laughs> replace them. They, didn't they always have onion rings? No, nah, they've never had onion rings. McDonald's? Really? Give me a spell. I rate onion ring, actually. What's the right price to make a soft serve? If, they were, if, if this is your pitch to McDonald's to bring... 
the soft serve back. Because I think $1.15, firstly, it's too expensive. Secondly, it's an awkward amount. We're heading into summer. Who carries cash and who's ever got $1.15? You, you have to have a dollar coin, a 10 cent coin, and a five cent coin. And a five cent is hard to come by these days. I just, what would you actually charge me at us? Oh, like, I'd be happy to pay 50 cents. Yeah, well, that like is 50 not cents is a deal. See, like, when you used to get them, you used to feel like you were saving money. Because it was like, oh, it's so cheap. But now it's like, you're splashing. Yeah, if you were to, you got a family of five and you go to get ice trams. Yeah, it goes from two bucks. You're pushing almost $6. Yeah, it's yeah. an awkward amount. If anyone <laughs> needs any assistance regarding an alternative, Hungry Jack's. Still do 80 cents soft serves. They don't taste as good. They're god awful. <laughs> <laughs> They're always very icy. It's so, yeah. They're not creamy. It's borderline icy, but. Uh, it's not it's good. It's an unwanted sort of that. $1. fifteen. Are we happy about that? God, no. no. We need to write an official complaint to the team at McDonald's HQ. Alrighty, boys, with December comes Christmas, and with Christmas comes Christmas parties! Fuck you! <laughs> now, this week. <laughs> this week. I've been waiting all year for this shit! I come into work every day! Oh my god, this, oh, what this week we asked the people of Perth, actually as a result of Ryan Hitchy. Ryan Hitchy messaged us before we even. Uh, uh, before we. <laughs> <laughs> Before we even asked, he messaged us and said, Boys, I've got a story for the pod. My work had their Christmas party on Friday and we went drinking on the golf course, which, if you ask me, Ryan, best place to go drinking. Yeah. There ha- were other people <laughs> playing and it was scary. <laughs> what? <laughs> They were hitting balls at me. I, think I was, was running for my life. I think he was playing. I don't think he just like <laughs> moseyed on for a couple of skewies. How many people would you work with? That's he's, I don't know. We're gonna, I think he's a... We're going to get more... Than his actual profile picture is him playing golf. So maybe... Maybe he's a golf. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, he was on the golf course with a, a little bit of golf involved. There you go. So it wasn't just, he wasn't just getting hammered. There was a yeah, small a amount of, bit of golf. golf being played. Everyone was getting pissed and we finished golf and headed to the pub. We get to the pub and it all kicks off within 30 minutes of being at said pub. We had three different work colleagues about to punch on with <laughs> each other. <laughs> and things got very heated very quickly. Me and one of my mates from work just sat back and watched it all unfold. We were both just hysterically laughing and eventually all things came down. Everything Calm calmed down. down, right? So we've got three different people who want to punch on with each other, which is something I've never quite seen before. Usually it's... It's a 1v1. Yeah, there's two sides to every fight. Never mm. a third. I've never seen a three-man. Yeah. A Royal Rumble. It's like that Spider-Man meme where they're all pointing, they're all pointing at, at one we another. We all hate each other. <laughs> it is interesting because, like, obviously you're at work and there are the few people at work that you don't really get on with. Yeah, but never enough like, to punch on with what them. What if we all get <laughs> smashed? And now let's bring up the issues I've had all year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't stop there, though, lads. Apparently, it got, so it all calmed down at the pub. He was just having a right laugh. I don't think anyone actually got collected, but <laughs> they may have. It's all a little bit grey. <laughs> Things seem to have calmed down. And later on in the night, two of the boys got kicked out of a separate venue for some suspicion regarding illegal substances, allegedly. Not day, not day. Which they were using... Near a, bit a of white Christmas. Near a bathroom. <laughs> and this also nearly ended up with a punch on with security. <laughs> oh, no. I wonder if it was the same two blokes who have now teamed it up. It would have to be. Oh, you reckon they've teamed up? They've gone, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what? They've scored <laughs> some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they've nearly had a bit of a punch on with security. Um, very entertaining night nonetheless. And there will definitely be a big toolbox talk about it. On Monday. Ah, uh, that explains it. Now today He's is a tradie. Today is <laughs> <laughs> today uh. is today is Monday, and I did ask him if he could give us a bit of a lowdown on what the toolbox chat was going to be about. But unfortunately, he's not going to be at the toolbox chat. This uh, he wasn't at the toolbox chat that morning. He's at the day off, legend. <laughs> so yeah, I think he sort of escaped. He was a, an innocent bystander by the yeah, looks okay. of things. Uh, but an absolute. Legend is Ryan Hitchy. Have you ever been involved in a punch on at a Christmas party? No, but you always hope for one because yeah. you know there's a few people that don't get along. Someone doesn't like the boss. Yeah, that's a great show. Especially shout. working, like I work with 
a lo- like older people and they're like all accountants and stuff. Yeah. So it would be very unlikely for there to be a punch on. But there is. You hear there's, there's office drama. There's always office drama going around. <laughs> people are saying, you know, you end the team's meeting and someone goes, man, that guy's a fucking dick. <laughs> and then you just get them all together. It's hot. Yeah. Temperatures are running high. Temper- once the temperature... The beers are flowing. <laughs> once the temperature... You notice the temperature definitely changes <laughs> people's mood. Like, yeah. if it gets oh, yeah. hot, people punch on. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a genuine thing. If there's, like, heat waves and in summer, crime goes up. There you go. People just get a little bit there annoying. Crime <laughs> goes up. Damn, premeditated crime. Geordie <laughs> <laughs> Smith, who we mentioned earlier. Oh. The legend of the pack himself. Now, he... Talking about work conflict and work hatred, sometimes Christmas parties bring out a bit of a work of love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bit of raunch. Yes. Geordie's coming pretty hot. As long as they're all on the same like level, that's fine. Well, There's nothing bad going on. You know, it's not like a supervisor. Then it's a little oh. bit, it gets a little bit weird. You know, my boss this year <laughs> at the place I work at, I didn't know this because we have like a workplace... Um, Code of well, you know Facebook <laughs> Workplace? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I had pre's here for the party and I was chilling in the pool and all my mates rocked up and they're like, boys, did you see the thing that our boss shared? Um, Dick pics like in the night. workplace. And he put out this big like article about no sexual assault at the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like... What a party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, man? <laughs> But yeah, everyone was a bit like, geez, like, yeah, no, like, read the room. Yeah, no. Like, yeah, no, exactly. All right, well. Here we go. Let's hear some. George messaged us. We'll keep everything pretty by the by. We won't mention any names. We won't mention any specifics. But he did say. Other than George. Not, yeah, well, he's fine to be mentioned, he said. He no longer works at the place. So oh. I, want, I wonder if. It's fucking name, name. <laughs> <laughs> this had anything to do with it. He goes, not me, but I know someone who uh, had a sexual intercourse. With the CEO of a company. My guy. Ooh. Many level. CEO. That's a level. You can't really be level with the CEO, I wouldn't have thought. No, he could be underneath them, though. <laughs> <laughs> In more ways than one. Um, so that's definitely Geordie talking about himself. Um, <laughs> I wonder how he did it. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we asked. Yeah. We, we sort of delved a little bit deeper. We, we asked Geordie for a little bit more yeah. information. He said, well, this person fucked the CEO... Of my old workplace after our Christmas party awards. It was a full-on scandal. Um, Good for the career, though. (laughs) Great for the career. career. And I know one, two, where someone got a... uh, (laughs) Blowjade. Oh, (laughs) blowjade. A different sort of... Is that in your job description, to give blows? (laughs) 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 Anyway, it happened in the stairwell of the workplace. which On work hours? I'm not sure. Lunch break. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they're on the rail. It's dangerous on this desk. <laughs> well, they're getting railed. What are you going to be saying? Oh, wait, you just walk fluid. past. <laughs> just hold that white rail for a second. Yeah, <laughs> all the fluid. you got to get that slippery when wet. Oh, Goodness me. Well, a few cranksies at the Christmas party. You can't go wrong with a few cranksies in the mouse. Can no, you? That sounds sick. Where did he say work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Apparently, the CEO got investigated, but he didn't went on to keep the job. He? Hey. Um, I was imagining a woman. Yeah. He too. Me too. And kept the... Oh, no, 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 not not he. I've made up the he. The CEO got investigated and kept the job. Ooh, Ooh. keeping it non-binary. Very cool. (laughs) I imagine there would have been a woman involved if there's... Oh, no, maybe not. If there's BJ's getting thrown. Could go either way. You never know. We love that. Massive scenes. It's <laughs> beginning to look a lot <laughs> <laughs> like Christmas. <laughs> Blow uh, jobs <laughs> in the stairs. Uh, uh, lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got some mistletoe. Is that my belt buckle? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alrighty, boys. Quite excited about this one. Riley's university studies have... Well, we think that they have officially finished. We officially thanked him last, or congratulated him last week. But it did make us think back to episode 145 where Riley did mention a few of his university antics. And I guess, well, now is as good a time as any to give you one of the last ever Riley uh, University roundups. Of course, it's time for Riley's roundup. University's best. He's the rudinous, tootinous, uni shooting in the wild, wild west. That's right, boys. As you may recall, I like to run the gauntlet. You do. 
when it comes to the parking. Yes. Ooh. Just in life, but mainly at uni. Um, and the thing I found was that accumulating parking fines equated to less than paying for the parking permit. How much is the parking permit? Um, 250 bucks. Oh, yeah. And I was getting like, I think at the time I had like four thirty dollars fines. Okay, so, so 120 bucks. That's correct. And um, I thought, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna be gonna be fine. You know, I'm saving the money. And then I was thinking, you know, will this even come up ever? Because I haven't been contacted <laughs> by anyone. And um, <laughs> this is where we got up to last time. I've got 120 dollars I owe yeah, the tickets, okay. right? This is my way of thinking. Once I get my graduation ticket, I'm out of here. I've talked to my tutors about this. I've said, boys, I've been booked four times. Oh, so they're in on it. Yeah, the boys are in on it. It's like Ocean's Twelve, <laughs> isn't it? If I get to graduation, get this certificate, I'm out of here. I'm never paying these fines. And then they were like, well, first of all, they might not let you graduate. <laughs> and second of all, they increase over time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> By what? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm By how much? I don't know, but then I read the fine print on the back of the tickets, and they're not wrong. Apparently, they increase over time. Like, they're not how doubling. Much? You've got 21 days to pay. If not, it keeps going up, and if you don't pay, a debt collector comes to your door. <gasps> <laughs> a debt collector <laughs> to the door? Now, the vibe you're setting in the room definitely doesn't sound like <laughs> someone who is scared or awaiting trial. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, when, when we did air that episode, you received a fair amount of flack within the household of... Yes. The dad, the dad, daddy, ooh. <laughs> Mac, Mac Pack HQ. Not everyone was as big a fan of that segment. I think dad saw the TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I put a, the TikTok got like almost five hundred thousand views, and I was a bit like, "That's almost how much you'll be paying." I was like, <laughs> "I was like, yeah, this is cool, but like, hopefully the guys down at the campus who are dishing out these parking fines aren't seeing this video." And um, well, they hadn't, but oh, for you, okay. I did think I was like, "All right, getting to my end of my last semester, maybe I should just try and nip it in the bud." Yeah, one pay. Yeah. I was like, I don't want these debt collectors coming. Could you see how much... No. The, okay, so you can't see like a running tally I as to how no much it's idea. increasing. No idea. Uh, but I did get one more fine. It was the day after you released this episode. So we <laughs> talked about it. Yeah. Um, and I was so like, you haven't had one since? No. So you, you haven't paid for parking? See, I did change my strategy in the last... Ep- in 145, <laughs> we talked about how... <laughs> Took the number plates off the car. My first strategy was to... I think I just parked super close to the building. And yeah, I kept yeah. getting tickets. So then I changed it. I parked far away from the building, the most far away you possibly could, but no one else parked there. So I was like the one car. In the and you were next to security land. for ages. That's correct. So I started getting tickets there. So then my final strategy, which is the one that I've been running with, is just to hide amongst the crowd. Yeah. Or po- and it's worked. It's worked a treat. So just parking normally. Yeah, just park <laughs> like with the big group and just hide in the middle. And it works. It's worked so far. And I was like, but <coughs> it's going to that time of the end of the semester, about to graduate. Just want to clear my records, have a clean slate, walk out the door. Plus, Dad was very much urging me to do so. <laughs> so, so he had he had spoken to you quite recently about yeah, yeah. following up. Yeah, yeah. So I think I was 150 bucks down, and I was like very nervous, but I was like, I'm just gonna go down to the building where you pay your fines and suss it out with the boys. Yeah. When was this? A month ago. Oh, oh. wow! Long time to be sitting on yeah. this info. And you then need to wait till he graduated. Yeah. So then. Sat down. I got called up by the lady. You have to get wait for a ticket. Oh uh, yeah. Had to wait like twenty minutes. Like the butchers. So yeah. like my heart was pumping. I was sitting there like, oh god, like this I'll is. I take it. two pounds of ham. Because like <laughs> I was like, firstly, am I going to find out that I now owe like four thousand dollars from these two years of overdue fines, <laughs> or am I going to pay yeah. one hundred and fifty dollars? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, your plan was never to not pay. Well, that was the ideal. Because when that <laughs> was on, it sounded like you were never going to pay. Yeah, but then, my, come around. then my teacher said, you won't graduate. Oh, okay. And I was like, uh-oh. Mm, so then, then you're like 40 grand in the hole. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So then I was like, all right, but I need to hear this from the horse's mouth. So I went down to the... The stable. To the, to the, to yeah. the stable with this lovely middle-aged woman helped me. One of Joe's friends actually works at this place. But I was hoping to get him. I didn't get him. Ooh. But um, so I went down. I have no uh, idea. And so I was like, all right. I just tried to play innocent. I was like, hey, I think I might have a few fines. I've lost I've lost the fines. But I, s- I re- slightly recall having them and I'm about to graduate. And I just thought I'd come down and just like see what the guy was. 
What was your most recent fine? I would have almost brought that and say, I'm here to pay this fine. And then any of the other ones just be completely stunned. So then she was like, right, let me search it up. What's your shit And your number? face is on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> What's your shit number? And I told her my shit number. And she pulls them all up. And she's like, oh, okay, I can see you've got these five fines. And I was like, yeah, like, when are they from? And she was like, here, this one's from 2022, da da all over like, the last two years. And I was like, oh, right. I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember. <laughs> 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 I kind of remember getting them, but not, not, it's not majorly in my recollection. And I was like, what would happen if, like, I didn't pay these fines? <laughs> 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 if I ran right now. And what did you do? She was like, oh, yeah, you wouldn't graduate. She was like, yeah. well, oh, I wouldn't let you. Like, I'd send an email and be like, don't give this guy a certificate. Wow. And I was like, ooh, tough. Over 100. Surely they just added on to oh. the bill. And then I was like, ooh, toughy, toughy, toughy. And then, so I was like, all right, so what are we doing? She, I was like, how much is it? And she was like, <gasps> Hundred, oh. 150 bucks. And I was like, oh, oh, what? So it didn't get added over time. And I was like, ooh, say less, babe. So then I was like, <laughs> maybe, in the, maybe in the stairwell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll give you someone worth more than that. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> so she put up the F Plus machine. I tapped. <laughs> I tapped, and then I and then I was declined, like, declined. Obviously, <laughs> I don't carry that much around me. <laughs> I'm not liquid. Like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell my uh, car. <laughs> that's one five zero, you say? <laughs> the cars are less than the actual fine. Anyway, so I tap, and then as I'm tapping, I'm just like continue this chill conversation, but make it seem like I wasn't trying to uh, scam them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, "Hmm, that's funny." Oh, she was like, "So you haven't paid for two years?" And then she was like, do you just forget to get a ticket or do you have a parking permit that's expired? And I was like, hmm. oh, I usually just get the ones on the day, but there was a few days I was late and I just forgot. Complete lie. Yeah. She was like, hmm, because you've actually saved money. <laughs> and I was like, she's worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> she's worked it out. Like, she's, you've saved 350 bucks. I was like, oh, really? How much are those parking permits? She was like, yeah, 250 bucks. <laughs> And I was like, oh, damn. She was like, yeah, ours are more expensive to be staff here. She was like, ours are like 350 bucks. And how much are their fines? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Run You're the like, gauntlet. You've got to park in the pack. <laughs> 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 but I was basically like, ended the conversation thinking like, You should have sent her the video and gone, man. Look, this is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was funny that she was like, huh. Well, it's weird because at, at Curtin. If you don't pay for parking, you're getting a fine. Because we have those cars, the automatic... Yeah, it's just the number plate. They just run past. Mm. There's no there's no individual that's coming to do it pen and pencil. They just drive one car around. It's like a Google car. And they just pick up yeah. everyone. And it's then like a shit sweet, sweet sweeper that's just like bringing cash. Yeah, it's like the... You know, in, in Doctor Who, you guys won't understand the reference, but it's like <laughs> exterminate, exterminate... <laughs> One of them. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, yeah. But so, you're like, you're definitely getting done. And the bloke's not even getting his out of his car. Yeah. That dude's, like, mm. the most lazy and most efficient <laughs> guy ever. Yeah. <laughs> He's loving it. Well, yeah. that's huge news. Congratulations. Verdict's in currently Murdoch Uni debt-free. Um, and and sa- you actually saved money. You, and you saved money. You won. You beat the system, which we love more than anything. There's nothing we love more here on the MacBook Podcast than beating the system. We've previously beaten yeah. the system by getting, um, I think it was a... Kids meal, when you go to Macca's, you get a kids cheeseburger meal and it's cheaper than getting a small meal. Fantastic. And, now and you R- get a toy. And now R- Yeah, and you get a toy. And now Riley's gone and beaten the, the um, Murdoch University. Run the gauntlet. <laughs> this a, we absolutely love that. Congratulations. Well done. You didn't Thanks, do anything, but well done. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, boys, it's time for one of our favourite weekly segments. In fact, it's our only weekly segment. It's time for our... Wah! Everyday hero, Junior Boy, take it away. So, boys, last Friday night, <laughs> went skinny dipping in the pool. Last yeah. Friday night. No, um, I was invited to do some filming content for the um, the Waffle Association, sh- shooting um, a grand final match of the All Abilities League. Oh, cool, oh, the integrated fantastic. crew. Yeah, it was sick. It was great times. And the game was down at the, the Lath Lane facility where yep. the West Coast Eagles, yep. it's yep. their home. It's where they... Where they train for their great successes recently. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like picking up number one draft picks. Yeah, that's it. And um, spoons, collecting spoons. So yeah, when we got there, it was just like dead haps. Like n- no one was there. We yeah. was the camera crew were the first people there, and then obviously all the the star players walked in. They all started to roam around. Bit of arrogance about it. Oh, y- a few of them. A few of them were up and about. I watched the state carnival on Ko, the integrated state carnival on Ko, a couple of months ago. 
Fuck, man. Some genuine weapons in those teams. They're actually, like, some of the boys playing, I was like, they were, like, in the warm-up, we were getting some B-roll. And I was, like, with my mate. And um, some bloke slotted one from 40. And I was like, that's a great kick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. that is a fantastic kick. It was actually wild. Kick. Well, this is the, the grand final, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the best of the best. Well, that was the thing with the state carnival. Like, some of these boys absolutely turn it up. And, like, everyone's got mixed abilities in the sense that their disabilities are ranged. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not like everyone's in a wheelchair or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And some of the boys, like, just pointedly taking advantage of some of the other people as well. They're just like, yeah, man, <laughs> I'm going to run around you. Yeah, yeah, that would be interesting, like... you got blokes getting, like, 12 goals, and you're like, well, man, you're... Like, I understand that you like, got a disability, but you're dominating yeah. these blokes. Yeah, it's interesting. Interesting, like, the strategy pairing people up. Yeah, it's interesting. So, um, the game started, and it was like, it was like, it's super hot. We're in December. Yeah. I think it was the 1st of December. It, it was, was on yeah. Friday. And, like, it's the first day of summer, and it was, like, 30 degrees. Like, I was sweating balls, right? Mm. And I was like, I feel bad for these boys having to play in this heat. Like, this sucks. And we're playing, like, it was like the game was bounced down. It was, like, 3.34. So, it was, like, peak, like, afternoon. Yeah, prime heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, sweat, right? And um, so, the game started, and the boys were all having a run around. And then um, there was, like, you know, the whole family and stuff fell on the sideline. And then we noticed... One bloke started running waters for the boys, and um, I didn't recognize him at all. But my the guy I was shooting the video with was like nudged me on the shoulder. He was like, "Look who that is," and I was like, "Who's that?" <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "That's Jake Waterman from the West Coast." Oh yeah, Ooh. and I was like, "Oh, it is too." And he was the Waterman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that actually his name? Yeah, <laughs> by name, by nature. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was like, "Oh yeah." Do you reckon anyone else made that gag? <laughs> Thanks so. for the water, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so then a halftime blew and all the boys were out. You know, everyone goes and daps each other up at halftime. And I was out there with the camera, you know, getting this sick beer. Yeah, the boys all dripping with sweat, eating their oranges at halftime. Nice. And, um, you know, as I was coming off, as I was coming off the field at halftime, I, um, you know, found myself amongst more boys wearing <laughs> the blue and yeah. yellow colours. Right. And I saw none other than the man. No. In every newspaper, on every news article these days. Wearing his... Vladimir Putin. Wearing, <laughs> wearing the brand new, like, fresh out of the box, no. blue and yellow kit. Harley Reid. Harley Reid. Harley Reid. And I don't know many West Coast players. Me neither. Example. I don't know who Jake Waterman I didn't know is. who Jake Waterman was. Oh, seriously. <laughs> That's why I was like, I was like, nah, surely they're not... Like, surely he's not running waters, like... Man. I was like, yeah, Jake. I was like, nah, that's someone else. And anyway, but then... And then I like, and I was like, oh my god, that's Harley Reid. And I was like, I knew it was. Harley I would Reed. even know because I've is, seen maybe. him on my phone like every day for mm. the last. Mm. Yeah, because you keep trying to call two him. weeks. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I was like, immediately, I was just like, oh, gotta go shake his hand. So I was like, go, Harley, welcome to WA, mate. Go oh, like you're the, the yeah. like you're the bloke who's <laughs> yeah, meeting yeah. him at the boundary. Yeah, you're welcome, Harley. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Come on in. Let me stamp the passport. <laughs> Welcome home, son. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? Like Al- Anthony Albanese, like, of WA. No, I just wanted yeah. to give him, like, that, that like, Aussie... Yeah, I'm sure no one else has said welcome to Yeah, him. but that's the thing. I feel like everyone in WA... Because I despise the West Coast Eagles. Oh, and shout outside. out to them all. They're all big fans. They're my 18th favourite AFL team. That's until Tassie rock out, baby. <laughs> 19th. But I was like, no matter who is this, like, it's Harley Reid. He's come to WA. I know, and he's and I'm like stuck playing for West Coast. I want, for three I want years. him to think. <laughs> you wouldn't read about it. I want him to think WA people rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> no matter who they are, WA people are sick. So I was like, "G'day, Harley. Welcome to WA, mate." Such pressure on your shoulders to do that for the whole state and as well. He was like, Thank you, mate. And he gave me the firmest handshake I've ever felt. Right, yeah. maybe in the stairwell sort of <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and is, I was he, like, is he 17, 18? Not sure. Yeah, probably either yeah. of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Probably 18, 17, 18, yeah. But yeah, and then I just saw him, you know, signing autographs. He had the biggest calves I've ever seen a really? young man <laughs> have as well. And then I saw himself pick up the waters and run him out for the boys as well. Yeah. The whole of the West Coast Eagles were running waters for the interview. Oh, that's cool. I rate that highly. And I was like, you know what? Right. I'm not a massive fan of the West Coast Eagles, but these boys are acting like everyday heroes right now. We love that. Like yeah. You're not going to win a flag. At least help the integrated boys win a flag. And were they giving waters to like, was there a West Coast associated Team? club? Or no. is they just no. giving them to everyone? Yeah, just giving it to everyone. They were there doing training. Do you get a water? 
Oh, uh, no. <laughs> should have got, got a cheeky But I got water. a handshake from Hate Reed, and there I was trying go. to get a photo, but my phone had died, so it was shocking. Weren't you on cameras? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't, you yeah, watch, didn't you have a camera with you? Yeah, hey man, you want if we get a photo? And he goes, yeah, yeah, easy. And then you pull the pull the big the big schnoz out. The big guns out. That's <laughs> there you go. Hey, well, yeah, that's very family. sweet. Yeah, it's good times. Nice to meet you, Harley. Yeah, lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, nice of you to like meet him and acknowledge mm. that he's now in WA. As well. like, did you mention that you are like the biggest influencer? You're sort of the big dick yeah. swinger at the moment. I didn't have to. You yeah. <laughs> You're moving out of the way so that he can be the be the man. There you go. We love it. Uh, so for the West Coast players, they're receiving the Red Heroes. Harley Reid specifically. No, nah, go all the West Coast players. Jake Waterman was doing yeah, most they, of the running. They need a win. There you go. Jake Waterman doing <laughs> most of the work. <laughs> they need a win. Yeah. There you go. Do you reckon they get? You know how like water boys have a shirt that says like Water Boy. Do you reckon he just wears his jersey yet as Waterman? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, this yeah, week's everyday. Clever. <laughs> this clever. week's everyday. Uh, do the jersey say their name? No. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin the joke. Um, boys, this week's everyday hero is going to the West Coast Eagles fraternity uh, for basically running water for all the integrated boys, doing the extra mile. We absolutely love that here on the Macro Podcast. So shout out to those boys. <laughs> Right, boys, uh, that just about brings us to the end of uh, another episode of the Mac Pack Podcast. But before we finish up, Ooh. we it was something we've been doing quite regularly on the pod is opening up the, <laughs> <laughs> the Mac Pack Mailbag. Um, we just want to thank everyone that's getting involved with the show. You are the pack that makes the Mac Pack work. Um, kick things off this week by asking a few questions and then we got a couple of ripping answers. Yeah, Not only to those questions, we also got a couple of cute DMs. Um, one which we receive. Yeah, it, there's some funny stuff going on. Okay, first one. We asked, "What is the best gift you've ever received at Christmas time?" Uh, Riley, what's the best gift you ever received? Oh, love on the stairwell. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> was it you? Uh, I don't <laughs> was know. It, I was there, where was the mistletoe? I can't ever really like. You don't really remember your Christmas presents, do you? Yep. What did you get last year? Um, you probably got it yourself though. What did I get last year? Oh. No, last year. Hang on. All right, Joe, what was Question your favorite? Question without notice. We got a PS5 the year before or two years before that. And how many times have we turned that on? I use it. <laughs> my, oh, well, I use mine all the time. I don't know how to turn it on. Well, you know, that's you know, a user yeah. fault. My, my favorite <laughs> gift is the Robo Sapien. Yes. I actually saw this thing the other day. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. It was like the biggest. I went through this big list. Maybe we'll do this in a couple of weeks' time. Like the biggest present at Christmas time for your birth year. Yeah, right. And Robo Sapien in like 2007 was the biggest yeah, man, it was present it was you could get. Sick. And I, t- so I showed Taylor, I was like, Joe's got one of these. She goes, fuck, as if. I said, yeah, you still got it. Yeah, it still is, am I right? Maybe we'll bring it on the pod next week. You can't remember the best gift you ever got. Worst Christmas. gift I ever got? Uh, love. <laughs> <laughs> on the stairwell. <laughs> By him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Um, anything? No, I can't remember. Best or worst? Can't remember either. I remember what about when memorable. you got like... Uh, that little Wiggles cubby house thing. That was big. That was a big moment. Do you remember that? It was like a pop-up Wiggles tent. Yeah, that we used to put in the... It was in the living room. And then Kubra Zalevic <laughs> broke it. Shout yeah. out. Kubra <laughs> Zalevic. No, no, don't remember. <laughs> like year, I would have been oh, in like year eight. You, you don't remember Cooper? No. I think you got engaged over the weekend. Anyway, okay, that's, okay. An off-air Congrats, <laughs> that's an off-air chat. That's That's an off-air Where's my... They're moving into tent. a Wiggles tent. <laughs> um, what about you used to get... That was another thing. Backle gone. You used to get big Bakugan. gun. That was on that list. Bakugan gun slabs. Oh, I got a Diablo one year. That was cool. Oh, they're the fucking surface tricks. Cool. Yeah, that was sick. I remember one year you fucking cried and bitched and winched and you asked Santa all year for <laughs> Heelys. <laughs> and then the Heelys came and it was all you wanted and you never wore them. Literally not once. I hated them. I no, tried it once. It's because he was a hype beast collector. <laughs> 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 you used to carry on. Mine was the Mr. Bean collection. All of the DVDs, DVDs in one box set. Fuck, that was good. That is a good game. I love that. Well, we also used to get a lot of cricket bats. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. Grey Nichols bats. We used to get, oh, we got a great Kahuna Magic um, yeah. Kookaburra bat that we still use to this day. Yeah, and then we used to get the pink tape on them. Yeah, the support grips. Him, support and breast cancer. Yeah. I remember getting... One day we'll find... Take them down to Muleman's. Scooby-Doo v- DVDs one year. That was cool. The PS3 was big. Yeah, any of the PlayStation was available. They're actually, yeah, well, you got a PS2. We got a PS2 with Hit and Run one year. 
Ooh. That was the time yeah. to be alive. We went. Tough. We then went for a trip down south, and we took the PlayStation. Dash we'll tough. find this video. We set it up. We had a little portable no, um, TV, <laughs> and it would have been like as big as smaller than an iPad. Yeah. Do you remember it? Yeah, yeah. And we plugged the PlayStation <laughs> into it. <laughs> I remember that little thing. <laughs> we were playing. We were playing. <laughs> It's so as big as, <laughs> yeah, as, big as yeah. the road car. It was like as big as an iPhone, it's right? It's an iPod Nano. And, <laughs> and we're sitting there. We've got a PlayStation 2. We brought it all the way down from Perth. And we're literally playing there for hours. What, we played hit and run. Yeah, it was just, we've got a you fucking see any of it? It is insane. Oh, we're sitting very close <laughs> to it. But yeah, we played that Hence for hours. you both need glasses. It though. is. You know, you think back like, oh, like late 2000s. It's like, it wasn't really that different. But then if you think about it all was, the technology yeah. stuff. It's different. actually insane. I missed. I pined for those days. They were elite. Bring it back. Um, India, top present. She got a trip to Brisbane to see One Direction in 2012 because they didn't come to Perth. That's quite nice. Jeez, that, that is a big present. That's a that's, that's a very expensive present. Charlotte Thomas, I'd like it. Surfboard. Surfboard, nice. Keep simple. it short. Keep it simple. We got a few surfboards, but that wasn't for Christmas. We just picked them up. That was a couple <laughs> years ago. Remember we, remember we were trying and to learn surfing for about a week? Yeah. Do you remember when... Fuck, we, that shit hurts. We it's were driving hurt. down south and we had a trailer and then uh-huh. the surfboard <laughs> like flew off down yeah. the Kanata Freeway. And we didn't notice until a we while got, later, right? Yeah, I think so we were at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> so we killed some man yeah. we never knew. A bouncing yeah. surfboard. Um, Geordie, who we mentioned before, he got a PS5 on Christmas, which is good. That's Fantastic. same as yeah, us. Yeah, um, so hopefully he's played his more than... You play ours, Riley. Um, cheesy best gift he ever received was a big purple dildo. So, you know. Oh. As a Secret Santa gift. That was a Secret Santa yeah. gift. Is what yeah. it is. Maybe we'll talk about Secret Santas in a couple of weeks. Yeah, love that. You doing one for the boys? We are. Excited about we that. We should do a Secret Santa on the pod. Oh. oh. Now, that's that's an idea. I like that. It wouldn't be that secret, would it? No, no, because you can set it up online. Yeah, but there's only three of us. Yeah, we oh, but we'd know, we'd know who each other are getting, wouldn't we? Well, I can only get one of you two. It's good enough. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. Nah, let's we'll do it. That'll be funny. I don't know what we'll get. You wouldn't know who gets you, though. Oh, wait, no, but you can't <laughs> <You> get <laughs> <to> be the <laughs> other. Because <laughs> I've got you. Yeah, yeah. And then so I. So then Jake yeah. has to have Jake has to have you. We can act like we don't know. <laughs> um, worst gift you ever got. The oh, good man, H. Wello, got in contact once again. He said, a, a pair of nice shoes. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> which is cute. Oh, worst, yeah. oh, the worst gift. A pair of nice shoes as I broke my leg the day before. So he couldn't wear, oh, okay, yeah, couldn't yeah. wear the shoes. Well, but actually, my, one of my best... You could wear one of them. One of my best... Hop best. around. <laughs> <laughs> put the other one on the crutch. Yeah. Get a giant one and put it on your cast. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Jeff? One of my best presents is the iPod Classic. Did you get that for Christmas? Must I think nice. so, yeah. Must be very I nice. feel like... I, uh, After you you bought two on eBay. Yeah, <laughs> I really wanted one, right? So this is a and funny And he was story. making bids. Oh, yeah, I was bidding. I was very young and I was bidding on an iPod Classic. One one for ages and ages and ages. So iPod went Classic being the touchscreen one. No, no. No, it was the one it was with the... the oh. sw- oh. 160 gigs, man. You could watch... You could put movies on that. I bitch. used to watch Big Bang Theory on my... That thing. That's a small screen. Yeah. That's about that big. <laughs> yeah. um, and I was bidding on... I was bidding on eBay. I was pr- I'm probably quite a good savvy eBay user, and I was bidding, 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 and I really wanted one. Easy really to bid when it's not your money. And then I, c- Dad called How me. Much? How Dad, much? Well, I don't know. It was like five hundred, six hundred bucks. It was pretty expensive. Yeah. And you're bidding on it without any permission. No, I had permission. But, but what? I, but what happened was I bid on a few, right? And I was ready to go. Yeah, you got to play the market. Like, <laughs> like the yeah. stock market. Elon Musk over here. And then yeah. Dad called me in, and he's like, "All right, I know you really want this. I, I see the value in it. Let's go get one." I was like, okay, yeah, cool. That sounds good. And so we went to Big W and we bought one. And I was over the moon. Well, he loved this thing. Let's go. And then we came home and got a confirmation email. You're a winner. (laughs) 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 I'd won won him. So in a day... You don't have to pay for it. Woke up up in the morning, didn't have an iPod Classic. Went to bed that night, had two of them. (laughs) And uh, 1.1k debt. (laughs) And I was like nine. So Can't you return the one you got from BW? I think they had already opened it. Dad really liked it, so he kept it, I think. Oh, so he still so uses it. He does. Yeah, he does. Fuck. I wonder if we can find my old one. It's probably right next don't to Dad's. Don't know. Because you can't download music anymore. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Um, George said, can of spam. We're still doing these. We're going to finish this up. This has gone on too long. What's the worst gift you've ever received? Can of spam. That is... Who the fuck is buying a can of spam for anyone? That's out. That's terrifying. Um, 
Oh, we got a couple more about the hectic Christmas parties. Yes. Uh, hang ten. Hang on. This is great radio. Our guy. One our time guy. we did a secret Santa at work last year, and one of the pri- it was like a Yankee swap one where you go into the pile in the middle. Yep. And someone put two or one condoms that was brought in at a health and safety day. Nice. Um. Yeah, we're not doing a secret Santa this year. There you yeah. go. That's fair enough. Yeah. Last yeah, one was, was one of the girls um, who we used to work with, Joe. We didn't mention Ooh. it at our Christmas parties, but Joey and I one year got dressed up as Shannon Noel and Guy Sebastian from the 2003 Australian Idol. Idol. The first season. Um, and we won Best Dress. Absolutely fucking pissed it in. Good stuff. There were some people who went all out. I think Linto painted herself a yellow, yeah, there which were doesn't actually sound that great out of context, but she yep. came as Marge Simpson. So oh, okay. That's f- can you do yellow face? Uh, oh, she sort of did. As long as you do blue hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rule. But Steph said uh, there was a time where she was horrendously horrendously got robbed for best dressed by us because um, we were wearing a wig and a microphone. But that's ours is good. Though. Ours was good. I can't remember what they went. Exactly. No one remembers. No one they remember us, the winners. <laughs> <laughs> History is written by the victors. <laughs> there you go. Uh, before we do finish up, Riley and I are excited to announce that we will be joining the RTRFM family um, come what? this <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah, we've Wait, done. What? We're doing a. Me and Jake are spinning off, Joey. <laughs> we're breaking away. Remember how One Direction <laughs> split and some people were really good and some people are not as good anymore? Yeah. We're going to be the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're so going live, Jake. We're going to be Niall. We're doing some, yeah. I'm getting nailed. <laughs> <You're> getting <laughs> nailed <laughs> on the <laughs> stairs. Um, we are going to be doing, yeah, live radio for RTRFM on Wednesday. Shit, They've started yeah. off you guys got a good time <laughs> slot. <laughs> <laughs> That's beast. <laughs> so this what, dri- <laughs> drive or something? <laughs> drive or breakfast? At time of release. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Depends breakfast. what time you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Depends what time you're driving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, we're the first week we will be in the studio. There's no real point in telling you because it's, it's already happened. Yeah, it's already <laughs> happened when this comes <laughs> you out. You weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> but it is between <laughs> 1 and 4 a.m. Um, on Wednesday, oh, the good. 6th of December. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited for that. They're giving that slot away. <laughs> So we'll be in there, but the following week... Um, yeah, you can catch us in the future. Yeah, the following week, so December 13th. Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday <laughs> Those morning. Those one won't be prime time. Right? Wednesday morning from 4 to 6 a.m. Promotion. <laughs> <laughs> 4 to 6. That's good. <laughs> so that's that's where the time slot before. That breakfast. really slightly ruins your day <laughs> to be on. <laughs> that's... Sick. <laughs> we're we're warming up the breakfast. Yeah, bro. so we're pre You're for breakfast. Over to the, oh, there they are. There are the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Wave them in. Uh, I want the frequency. Ninety-two point one. Ninety-two point one. We will find the um. Oh my god, I'm crying. Oh, I'm thinking about the sleep schedule more than yeah, anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we will share. There's a text line at RTRFM. Um, I'm sure you can Google it yourselves, but we will provide it on our social pipes. And we would love for you to text through um, when we're on air. You obviously be listening to the forty six one on a December thirteen. That's it. That's it. Riley's pulling up the number now, but I don't think he's going to get it. Oh four oh five nine two one nine two one. There you go. Here we are promoting competition. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, this is we on demand. We stick to podcasts, guys. Spotify. It's the way to listen. It's the future. <laughs> oh my god, is that if enough? You to, if you want to call me, my number's <laughs> beep. <laughs> beep that, guys, beat that. Uh, very excited to be part of the team. Um, yeah, Jackie Jr., driving you home from the big bender. Yeah, yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then next week, I'm going to do a solo hour on the pod. <laughs> and I'm going to let loose, DM me on my personal. Um, yeah, and I'm going to tell stories that are just about me. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here. Um, and I'm going to post it at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. Until we do this this time next week, stay safe, stay blessed, and always remember to... Go give your mama a hug. It's Jeff and our button off forever.